Hello, Will Dean here outside my cabin in the Swedish moose forest. Questions and answers. How is writing during COVID-19 compared to last year? Very good question. I'm going to answer it from a very personal perspective because it's different for everyone. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are very worried about relatives who are shielding relatives, who are caring for people by way of getting their shopping for them and so on. I've certainly been doing that from a distance with my family back in the UK, which has been difficult. It's been a long time since I've seen my mum, which is tough, really tough. Um, we're all going through our different various struggles, but in terms of writing, it's had its pros and cons this year for me. Uh, at the beginning of the year, February, March, April, I couldn't read and I couldn't write. I guess I was too, I don't know, too anxious and too aware that I was going through this huge, you know, seeing, taking part in this historical event, this thing that's never really happened before in modern history, for generations at least, and that zapped all of my creativity, all of my energy, and I was just focusing on getting my kid, you know, up and doing his stuff and and doing things around the forest, but I could, I had no capacity for creative thought for like a month and a half and that was hard that was tough and then slowly it kind of came back and I think this is the same with a lot of my writer friends they, there was a while where they couldn't write and couldn't read much and it was hard but then since then I've been working like a little demon and I think that's because like there's nothing to do here apart from my forest duties you know making sure there's enough firewood making sure We've got water in from the well and things like that. But apart from that, like there's no cafes, restaurants, bars. Not that any of those things are open, actually. Yeah. But, you know, there's not there's, there's just my forest duties and then I'm working. And I'm not traveling, obviously. And I normally travel a lot. I like international travel every month for book events, to meet readers, to meet booksellers, to go to festivals and things. And I love that part. I really enjoy that part, but on the flip side, I've really enjoyed just being in the woods, slowing down my pace of life even more through not traveling. Like I think we had in our truck one tank of gas and it lasted us, one tank of petrol, diesel, it lasted us three months or something. Because we, we have, we grow a lot of our own food and we, we, uh, we just don't go out and about. So yeah. It's a very quiet, old-fashioned kind of mm, hermit forest life. But the question is, how is writing during co during COVID nineteen compared to last year? So last year I was really busy. I wrote two books and traveling a lot. This year has been simple. I've just been in my in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, writing. And I'm writing two books a year at the moment, which feels like a good pace for me. I think it's because I don't do anything else. I don't have anything else here. If I lived in London, maybe I'd write a book a year or one book every two years. I don't know. But here I write, I can write two books a year uh, very happily. I'm not rushing anything. I'm spending an enormous amount of time on each book. And in truth, each book takes about three years to come about when you take into account the first six months is me kind of coming up with the idea and visualizing it, letting it compost at its own pace. And then after that, it's, it's the first draft. And then I put the first draft away often for three to six months. And then I pick it up and I rewrite it and so on. And then the publishing process kicks in and it takes a while. So 
so yeah, so this year I've written a, a new standalone, which I can't really talk about yet, but which will be out in, I think, 2022. It feels like, you know, feels like I should have a robot dog over there instead of my actual dog. I'm 41 years old, 2022 sounds ridiculous. You know, when I was in the late 80s and in the 90s watching movies, the future would always be 2004, <laughs> 2011. So that's another thing about writing, I guess. It's a way to kind of try to contextualize time and life and meaning. And for me, it's a way of trying to figure things out. I'm still trying to figure everything out. And I remember having that memory vividly when I was five years old of just everybody else was seemed so together and doing their stuff and so sure of everything. And me as a little kid, I was just like, what is going on? How, you know, what's going on with the moon? What's going on with the, with the tree? What's going on with my sister? What's go How is all this happening? What is going on? I want to know more. I was just... Uh, nerdy weird kid who wanted to understand things and I think writing is my way to understand things by inhabiting other characters and trying to figure out how they would react to things how they would think about things why I, this is this is a huge tangent how is writing during COVID-19 compared to last year so beginning of the year it was really hard now it's good I'm not traveling so my work rate has improved uh, as a as an introvert, you know, I travel to an event. It takes me a while to a few days to ramp up, psych up to getting to doing that event. And I fly over and then I do my thing and then I fly back and I'm just kind of wiped out for a little while because I'm used to being on my own in a completely peaceful forest all the time. So I haven't had any of that to deal with this year. So it's been just a very constant, nice work rate. Working on the next standalone, 2022. Working on the next Tuva. That's two of the movies on book five. So book four has already been delivered. And that will be out next year. Um, but book five is the one I'm working on now. I'm starting to think about book six. And I love this. I feel very lucky to be juggling stories in my head. All at different stages. And um, yeah. How is writing during COVID-19 compared to last year? For me, it's good. Not that that matters, like obviously 2020 is a tough year for everyone. And it's relatively easy for us because we live off grid in in a wood in Sweden. But um, writing for me has been fine. It's fine now. It's good now. And I think when I get back to traveling a lot, maybe I'll miss that aspect of 2020, the not traveling. I think it's been good to show or to... Um, kind of make clear what's important in life and that is me building a tree house with my six-year-old uh, with the dog and with my wife and just yeah that kind of thing how was writing during COVID-19 compared to last year I just want to say as well we all good wishes to everyone I hope you hope you're well mentally and physically and able to cope with this and and uh, I'm thinking of you all, you know, through the winter, through the through the autumn and the winter. But I think next year will be a lot better, a lot more normal. I really hope so. Thank you.